One thing you say in your book is we need to see abortion as an urgent practical decision that's just as moral as the decision to have a child. Indeed, sometimes more moral. That's your view, obviously. Do you think, though, that it's the most savvy way to frame this politically going into this kind of an election season? Should this be a moral debate on the ballot, or should it be a practical one about the health risks to women? Well, I think that um, it's really both. Um, and whether my arguments are successful, we'll find out. But uh, I, I don't think it's going to have too much effect on, on the elections. But, um, you know, I think that it's... What I meant was that when you consider, for example, that the majority of women who have an abortion, 61%, are already mothers. You can see that the stereotype of, oh, it's the teenage slut who needs to be taught a lesson, it's the cold-hearted, child-hating career woman, you can see this isn't what it's about. These stereotypes are false. It's about women who are trying to do right by, them, by their children, by their families, by themselves. Um, and facing an incredibly tough and facing, decision. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, Kat the Pollock. You're a very clear voice. Oh, on this. thank you so much for having me, Ronan. Really helpful to get your insights.